We are going to start practice in child's pose today. So big toes together to touch, take your knees open nice and wide. Sit back on your heels, stretch the spine forward. And then with your arms reached forward on the mat, just go ahead and flip your palms up and drop your head down. Allow the eyes to close, the jaw to soften. Just take a full breath in through your nose. Softly sigh it out the mouth. Land here in your body, on your mat for your practice. The first day of this new month. I ask that you take these first few moments of the practice here to get very clear on an intention for this whole month, for the next 31 days that lie ahead of you. For this month, what do you need? What do you want? And I invite you to be very specific, very deliberate, very bold in what you ask for right now. With your palms open here in this gesture of receiving. I want you to feel it. To trust that when we are very clear in what it is that we are asking for, when we are truly open to receiving it, and when we trust that it is coming to us, we are so powerful. For a moment, experience how it feels to have this, whatever you asked for, if it's peace or healing or happiness or love, contentment, grounding. How does it feel to have it right now? I'm trusting that this intention has been sent out, has been received, is being processed, if you will. Take a full breath in. As you open up your mouth to sigh it out, let go of any and all attachment to it. Softly just place your palms down. Pressing into your hands as you inhale, lift your chest one inch. As you exhale, thread the right arm under the chest, reaching for the left. Bring that right shoulder and right ear to the mat. Crawl the left hand a little more forward. Feel the weight of the hips. Unthread that right arm, reach it forward. As you inhale, just float the chest. As you exhale, thread the left arm underneath your foot. Your left ear to the mat, crawl the right hand a bit more forward. Unthread that left arm, reach it forward, spread your fingers wide. As you inhale, pull forward into cow spine. 
tuck the toes, lift head and neck. As you exhale, lift the belly like cat and then sit back on your heels for child's pose. Smoothing it out, inhale for cow. Exhale, cat, into child's pose. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat, to child's pose. Continue like this or adding on, inhale to plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Knees down, exhale, child's pose. Four more rounds of breath. Inhale your variation of this. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths here, my loves. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Everyone here, plank pose as you inhale. As you exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. Point the toes, slide through to the belly. Shoulders back, lift your chest for cobra. Press the feet down so the kneecaps lift and then lift your hands up. Extend the arms back with the palms up. Elbows straight, push the hands higher. Keep the elbows straight, start to move the thumbs towards one another for three. Chest lifts higher for two. Feet are pressing down here for one. Stay with me, chest is up. Place your right forearm down, and then your left forearm down. Elbows down, lift the chest, and then bend your right knee. Reach your right hand back and grab the inside of the foot and try to pull the heel to the outside of the right foot. Some of you will spin the fingers forward, elbow pointing up. Two more breaths, lift out of your left shoulder. Let that foot go. Right forearm down. Bend left knee. Left hand reaches back for the inside of the foot. Try to pull the heel to the outer left butt. Maybe spin fingers forward, elbow up. And again, just check that you aren't collapsing in that right shoulder, lift up. Gently release that left foot, both forearms down, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lay down. Hands outside chest, child pose, sit back on your heels. Take a full breath in. Open the outside out. Slowly roll up and sit on your heels. Press the shins down, stand up on the knees, hands to hips. Activate the core, lift up. And then heel first, step your right foot forward. Shift the hips forward, and as you inhale to a T, open your arms. Left elbow, eagle wraps under right. Elbows forward, inhale, lift chest, look up. Exhale, elbows to navel, navel to spine, chin to chest. Twice more, elbows forward, inhale, lift up. Exhale, round in. One more, inhale. Exhale. Unwrap the arms, inhale, reach by your ears. Exhale, right arm outside, right hip. Take a side bend. Reach that left arm out and up. Circle the hands to the top of the mat. Tuck your back toes. And then just straighten both of your legs as much as you can. Grab blocks if you have them. Flex the front foot if you like that. Drop your head.
one more. Inhale, bend your right knee, look forward. Exhale, step forward and fold. Press into the feet, inhale the arms around and up. With your right hand, grab your left wrist and take a side bend to the right for three. Shift your hips over to the left, reach further for two. One more big breath, roll. Press into the feet, inhale, lift up, spread the fingers. Open the arms, exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, left foot meets it in plank. Shift forward, exhale, lower all the way. Point the toes, step the hands off the mat into finger stand. Inhale, roll your spine up. Exhale, roll down. Let that feel really good. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll down. One more, eyes closed, inhale. Exhale. Hands to the mat, child's pose. Sit back on your heels. Heavy the hips, roll up to sit on your heels. Press the shins down, stand up on the knees, hands to hips. Get a little taller. Heel first, step your left foot forward. Shift the hips forward and then open the arms like a T. Right elbow underneath left, eagle arms. Elbows forward, inhale, lift chest, look up. Exhale, elbows to navel, navel to spine, chin to chest. Twice more, inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Unwrap the arms, inhale, reach up. Exhale, left hand outside, left hip, take a side bend. Really reach through that right arm. Circle the hands forward, tuck your back toes, and then straighten both of your legs. Use your blocks, flex your front foot. Do what makes the most sense for your body. Find ways to allow these postures to meet your body where it is today. Not to force your body into some shape that maybe worked for you five years ago, but that is outdated at this point with this version of you. Inhale, bend your left knee, look forward. Exhale, step forward and hold. Press into the feet, inhale the arms around and up. Left hand to right wrist, take a side bend to the left for three. Shift your hips to the right, reach further for two. And one. In center, inhale, reach up, look up. Open the arms, exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lift halfway, lift. Exhale, left foot steps up. Inhale, right foot meets it in plank. Shift forward, exhale, lower all the way. Separate your legs as wide as the mat. Fingers stand off the mat. Roll the spine up, lift the chest, and stay. Now bend both of your knees, toes to ceiling. Engage your hamstrings and glutes, pull the feet in. Lift the chest, look up, maybe look back towards your toes for three. Two. And one. Lay it all the way out. Hands outside, chest, tuck your toes. Shoulders away from the ears, and on an inhale, press up to plank. Downward facing dog. 
First one of the practice. What do you need to do with it? Find stillness in your shape. Spread the fingers. Firmly press the hands down and forward. Reach the hips up and back. Soften the back of your neck. Focus the eyes between the feet. Clear, specific, deliberate. What are you opening up to? Inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, step or jump feet between thumbs. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthens. Exhale, drop your head leg. Press into the feet, inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer at your heart. Surya Namaskar A, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Plant hands, exhale, shatter on you. Inhale, upward dog, shoulders back and down. Exhale, down dog, hips up. Three long breaths. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, feet forward. Inhale, lift halfway length. Exhale, drop your head or release. Root down, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, fold right back forward. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Exhale, shatter on the eyes forward. Inhale, up top. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. And as you start to build heat, recognizing what it is that you are burning away with this tapas that we build in the practice. What are you letting go of in order to create space for what's to come? Inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, feet forward. Inhale, lengthen spine, open chest. Exhale, drop your head, release. Root down, inhale, rise up, eyes up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Surya B with humble, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Lift your right leg up straight behind you and stay there. Point the pinky toe down, pull your left hip more back. Place right foot next to right thumb. Left foot flat, warrior one, rise all the way up. Feel both hips point forward. Feel that back leg press straight. Hands behind, interlace right thumb on top. Straight front leg. Shoulders roll back, lift your chest, look up. Rebend the knee, humble warrior, dive straight forward. Drop your head as you lift your fist, three big breaths. Both hips are still pointing straight forward. Press into back foot, inhale, warrior one, arms up. Hands to mat, exhale to chaturanga or down dog. Point toes, inhale, upward. Exhale, down. Left leg lifts up straight behind you. Pinky toe is down, pull that right hip more back. Place left foot next to left thumb. Back foot flat. 
left as you rise to warrior one. Square the hips, draw the belly in. Hands behind, left thumb on top. Straight front leg. Roll the shoulders back, lift your chest, lift higher. Rebend the knee, exhale, humble warrior. Three breaths, that left hip is pulling straight back. The whole back foot is on the floor. All five toes, the heel, the edges. Press into feet, inhale, warrior one. Hands touch down, vinyasa, or straight to down dog. Three long breaths. Press the hands down and forward. As you press the hands down and forward, visualize what you are pressing away from you. What you are moving out of the way to be open to what you called in. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, feet forward. Inhale, lift halfway length. Exhale, drop your head release. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, stand up, hands to your heart. Inhale back down for your chair. Hands to prayer, take a twist to the right. Make a fist with your bottom hand. With your top palm, push into the fist and twist deeper. Gaze over right shoulder. Inhale, chair, reach through the fingers. Hands to prayer, exhale, twist left. Fist to the bottom hand. Top palm pushes into it, chest higher, look over that left shoulder. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold forward. Separate your feet as wide as the mat. Malasana, bring it down for your squat. Heels down, heart lifted, close your eyes. What do you need now? Not what do you think you should be doing. Not perhaps what you habitually do. To enhance this moment for yourself right now, choose how you spend your next eight breaths. You can stay. You could open the arms on the diagonal, maybe working vines. You could work on your crow pose, any variations. Yeah, if there's something else that came to mind, go with it. Trust that wisdom, that intuition within you. Know that you can change your mind. If you chose something and then you get going with it and you realize it's not actually aligned with what you need, change your mind about it. And that goes for not just on the mat, but off of it as well. Hands back to your heart, sit a little taller, everyone in squat now. Hands to the mat, lift your hips to the ceiling. Heel toe your feet hip distance apart. Yogi toe lock around the big toes. Two-piece fingers scoop up the big toes. Bend your knees, inhale, pull your chest forward. Draw the belly in, drop the weight of your skull. Five breaths, Padanvustasana. And if you tend to carry tension in your neck and shoulders, maybe gently nod or shake your head. Maybe flutter the lips or take a dramatic exhale out the mouth. All of these ways of letting go. Letting go of tension that builds up that 
inhibits us from moving forward, from staying open to what's coming. Holding onto your toes, inhale, lengthen the spine. And then just release the fingertips to the mat. Place your left shin down, keeping that knee forward. Sit back on your left foot and walk the hands behind you. Some of you, this is going to feel intense and you're gonna hang out here. If this doesn't feel so intense, try lifting that left knee up off of the mat. Breathe. Notice where the resistance is. Can you breathe into that point of resistance? Can you create a greater sense of flow? If you lifted the knee up, lay it down. Everyone crawl your hands forward. Great place to put your hands on block. Step into the right foot standing split. Lift your left leg up. Drop your head and circle that left foot from the ankle. Switch the direction of the circles. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Pressing down into that footprint, high lunge, rise up. Zip the belly in. Right arm outside, right hip. Take a side bend for three. Reach through that left arm longer for two. And one. Inhale, right arm up for high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale your right leg straight. Hips shift back, reach forward, triangle, right hand down, left arm. Wrap the tailbone and lean the shoulders back. Turn your chest up. Seal the feet, hug the inner thighs in. Reach your top arm forward, palm down. Stay here, maybe reach your bottom arm forward, palm up for three. Make both sides of the waist longer for two. Turn the chest a little higher for one. Press into the feet, inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Right palm up, inhale, reverse. Exhale, either right forearm to thigh or right hand to pinky toe. Left arm up and over, extended side. Press the right knee to the right, turn the chest to the left. Could you make your back leg straighter? Keep that right knee bent, warrior two, lift up. Inhale the leg straight. Turn all 10 toes to the long edge of the mat to the left, hands to the hips. As you inhale, tailbone down, lift your chest, look up. As you exhale, fold over your legs. Hands under shoulders, inhale, lengthen spine, open chest. Right hand stays down, lift the left arm up. So you're twisting towards the back of your space. Now I would like you to imagine that there were a puppet string attached to your right hip. And then like I just pulled that string up, lift your right hip higher. If possible, eyes to left thumb. One more, lengthen both sides of your waist. As the left arm comes down, it scoops behind the right. With eagle arms, stand up. Left arm is under. Pull the heels in, toes wide, and bend your knees a lot. Elbows forward, inhale, lift chest, try to look up. Exhale, elbows to navel, navel to spine, chin to chest. 
Twice more, keep the knees bent, inhale, lift up. Exhale, round in. One more, inhale. Exhale. Unwrap the arms, inhale, legs straight, reach up. Exhale, runners lunge, top of mat, right foot. Press into hands, inhale, right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over fingertips. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cross to the left. Inhale, reach. Open the right hip and bend the knee. Stay here, press into the hands. Identify your left hand. Walk your left hand to the middle of the mat, so it's like under your shoulder. You can stay. Maybe left hand to left hip. Maybe left hand grabs that right foot that's in the air behind you for three. You're breathing for two. And for one. Left hand down, eyes forward, legs straight. Step right foot between your thumbs. Straighten your right leg. Pyramid variations. You can stay here, maybe flex the foot. You could bring your back foot closer for a traditional pyramid with both feet flat. You could take the arms behind your back if you're into that. If you've got another variation in mind, you do you. Wherever you are, drop your head. Firmly press that right foot down and lift the hip higher. It's just two more. Hands to the mat. Bend the right knee, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward and fold. Weight in the heels, inhale, chair pose. Hands to prayer, twist to the right. You can stay. You can open your arms. You can practice your side curl. Feet to the mat, inhale, chair. Exhale, stand up. Take the arms around and hands onto your own butt. Wrap your tailbone down, hips forward. Squeeze elbows, lift the chest, look up for three. Option, take hands down to hamstrings for two. Imagine my hand on your chest, press up into it for one. Inhale, the arms reach around and up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold over your legs. Separate your feet hip distance. Slide the palms of the hands under the feet. Knees are bent, drop your head. Five breaths, Padanhastasana. If you're holding on to something you don't need, how can you let it go? Where are you holding it? Inhale it halfway length. Release the hands from the feet, fingertips to the mat. Please place your right shin down. Sit on your right foot and walk your hands back. Now, if this already feels intense, stay right here and breathe. If you're going deeper, you're going to lift that right uh, knee and shin bone up. Relax the shoulders, the jaw, the eyes. The 
becoming aware of that resistance. Noticing how that resistance is holding you back from being in your flow state. If you lifted the knee, lay it down. Crawl your hands forward onto blocks is terrific. Step into your left foot standing, split right leg up, and then circle that right foot. Switch the direction. Circle the ankle is a little more anatomically correct. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Root into that foot, inhale, high lunge, rise up. Left arm outside, left hip, take a side bend for three. Reach through that right arm for two. Get clear about what you're reaching for for one. Inhale the left arm up, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale your left leg straight. Hips back, reach forward for triangle. Left hand down, right arm up. Wrap the tailbone and lean the shoulders back. Reach your top arm forward, palm down. Stay here or reach your bottom arm forward, palm up for three. Lengthen both sides of the waist forward for two. Turn chest a little higher for one. Press into feet, inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Left palm up, inhale, reverse. Exhale, left forearm, left thigh, or hand to pinky toe. Right arm up and over, extended side. Press down into that back foot. How's your breath? Keep that left knee bent, warrior two. Inhale, left leg straight. Exhale, toes to the right, hands to the hips. Tailbone down, inhale, lift chest, look up. Exhale, long spine, fold over your legs, drop your head and hands. Press into your hands, inhale, lengthen the spine. Keep your left hand down, reach your right arm to the ceiling. So you're twisting again to the back of the mat. Again, imagine a puppet string on your left hip and just lift it up. And then try to turn the chest more. If possible, eyes to right thumb. As the right arm comes down, it crosses behind the left. With eagle arms, stand up, right elbow is underneath. Turn it, pull the heels in, turn the toes out, and bend your knees a lot. Elbows forward, inhale, lift chest, look. Exhale, elbows to navel, navel to spine, chin to chest. Twice more, push the knees wide, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, unwrap your arms and legs, stand up tall. Exhale, runner's lunge to left foot to top of mat. Press into hands, inhale, left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cross to right. Inhale, reach. Open the hip and bend the knee. Stay here, press the hands forward. Your right hand, walk it back on the mat so it's under your shoulder. You can stay. Maybe right hand to right hip. 
Maybe right hand grabs that left foot that's in the air for three, two, one. Two hands down, legs straight, look forward, step left foot between your hands. Straighten your left leg. Pyramid variations, you can stay here. You could bring that back foot closer with both feet flat. You could take the hands behind your back. Again, if there's something else that comes to mind, go with it. See where it takes you. Drop your head. Press that left footprint down, lift the hip higher. Hands come down. Inhale, bend the left knee, look forward. Exhale, step forward and fold. Weight in the heels, bend your knees, inhale, chair. Hands to prayer, exhale, twist to the left. That's it, you can stay. You can open the arms, you can practice your side. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand up. Circle the arms around and hold your breath. Tailbone down, hips forward. Squeeze the elbows, lift the chest, look up. You can stay. Maybe hands to hamstrings, but keep lifting up. Roll the shoulders down. Stay here, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a full breath in. Take a full breath out. Lift your left knee. Eagle wrap left leg on top, bend both knees. Touch the toes or wrap them. Inhale, arms like a T. Left elbow under eagle wrap arms, sit lower. Start to draw the belly in and wrap elbows in front of knees. Palm breaths. Two more. Listen carefully. We're going to unwrap into dancer pose. Unwrap your left leg heel to seat. Left hand to inside of foot, right arm forward, get taller. Kicking that left foot back, lean the spine forward. Two more, hips are square. Left foot steps back, high lunge, inhale, arms up. Hands to prayer, exhale, twist over your right thigh. Three breaths, press your right knee right, look up. Press into that foot, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Right palm up, inhale, reverse. Exhale, right forearm, right thigh, or hand to the big toe side of foot. Left arm up and over, or half, or full bind. Two more. Right knee is bent, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to top of mat. Press into hands, inhale, right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale, reach. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder, optional arm balance. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, cross to the left, optional arm balance. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Open the hip and bend the knee. You can stay or flip your dog upside down for three, two, one. Inhale, three legged down dog, right leg up. Exhale, foot between hands. Open chest, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward and fold. Press into feet, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Right here, full breath in. And out. Lift your right knee up. Right leg crosses on top, bend both knees. Either toes touch or toes wrap, sit low. Open the arms wide, let it sweep. Right elbow under, eagle arms. Draw the belly in, elbows in front of knees. Garudasana. Steady breaths. We're opening into dancer pose, right leg behind you. Right hand to inside of foot, left arm forward, get taller. Slowly kick that right foot back as you lean the heart forward, Matara Jasana. Hips are square. Think lifting chest and back foot at the same time. With control, step right foot back, high lunge, inhale, arms up. Hands to prayer, exhale, twist over the left thigh for three. Press left knee, left look up for two. You got it, one more. Press into that foot, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Left palm up, inhale, reverse. Exhale, left forearm, left thigh. Or hand to inside of foot. Right arm up and over. Or a half bind or a full bind. Five breaths. Press your back leg straight. Inhale, reverse word. Exhale, hands to top of mat. Press into hands, inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee, left shoulder. Inhale, reach up. I'm sorry, knee to left shoulder, optional arm balance, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, now cross it to the right. Optional arm balance. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Open the hip and bend the knee. Hang out here and flip yourself over for three. For two. And one. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg straight. Exhale, foot forward. Open chest, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward and fold. Press into feet, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Close the eye. Feel yourself standing here. 
all of that energy alive within you. Sensing this potential, this vibration. Through this energy, what are you calling in? I encourage you to be bold with what you ask for. And to meet that boldness in your request with the equal boldness of trust. That you are worthy, you are deserving, you are open to all of it. Inhale. As you exhale, open up your eyes. Lift your heels. With your heels lifted, get taller. As you continue to get taller, bend your knees. Keep the spine vertical like you were sliding down a wall. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Once you reach your lowest point, reach the arms forward. Shift the hips back and land on your seat. Open up your feet hip distance and roll onto your back. Once your head lands, step your feet a little closer to you. Pressing into your feet, lift up, set to Bandasana Bridge. Walk the shoulder blades together, interlace the fingers. And pressing your fist down, lift your heart higher. Separate your hands and return your spine one vertebra at a time. Once your hips land, bring these together, feet apart, for just a few breaths. Replace your feet hip width apart. One more back bend, another bridge, a supported bridge if you would like it, a full wheel. Six long breaths. After your six breaths, softly return your spine to the mat. Once more, bring knees together, feet apart. Just a few easy breaths. And gently gather your knees into your chest. And drop your knees to the left, open the chest to the right. Notice where that resistance exists within you. Oftentimes what holds us back from getting these things that we most desire is a resistance within us. Sometimes it's a very subtle belief that you are not worthy or deserving of what you say you're looking for. You are so deserving. You are so worthy of everything. 
and you learn where that resistance exists within you. And slowly start to move out of your own way. Removing these blockages that hold you back from reaching these things that you so desire. Take your knees over to the other side, please. It starts just by asking, where is the resistance? Where is it in my body? How does it manifest into my thoughts? On your back, wrap your arms around your shins in a very deserved embrace. And then set yourself up for your final resting pose. You may extend your legs straight. You may have the knees bent with the feet together or the knees together. Release the arms by the sides, open up the palms. This gesture of receiving. Very clear and bold in this intention that you are setting for this month. Take a full breath. Hold that breath, sip in more. And letting go of any resistance to you receiving it, open up your mouth and let it all go. And just land here. Open to this moment. to deepen your breath. Gently move your fingers and your toes. One at a time, step your feet flat onto the mat. in the most natural way for your body. Find your way up to sit. Join your hands at your heart. Bow your chin in gratitude to yourself, to all that you do and all that you are both on and off the mat. Let 
the light within me acknowledges and reflects the light within each of you. Namaste.